Hi everyone, Cold M here with another Vox Immortalis commentary guide. This video is for the Hodir encounter, and it's an extremely complex encounter due to the number of buffs and debuffs. So I'm going to be speaking quickly to go get through everything in time. The first thing you'll notice is there there's four NPCs at the start, trapped in ice. Breaking them out causes them to help you out throughout the fight with various buffs, usually to increase your DPS. The most important one is the mage on the right. She will drop fires that look like cooking fires. Standing within them causes a buff that prevents some of the freeze effects throughout the fight from stacking on you. Further, if you attack her, or excuse me, if you attack Hodir while you're in the toasty fire, it applies a debuff called Singed, which stacks and increases the magical damage Hodir takes. So it's important to have at least one person stacking Singed up throughout the fight. The next most important NPC is the Shaman. She'll cast a storm cloud buff, and that player can run near four other people and apply storm power to them. Storm power increases crit damage by 135%, so it's a huge amount of damage increase. Lastly, the druid will cast white beams called starlights around the room. Standing in one of these increases your haste, either casting or attack speed, by 100%. So it's great to combine the Shaman crit buff with the Druid Starlight for ranged players, or melees even, but ranged really benefit. The Priest is the fourth NPC, don't worry about breaking her out, she barely helps. Uh, also the Mage has a Melt Ice ability that will break out other NPCs over 10 seconds. So if you want to just break the Mage out at the start, she'll take care of the rest, you don't have to worry about it. As for Hodir, he has a number of abilities. Biting Cold is the big one. It's a stacking uh, one second per stack debuff that deals damage over time. Each stack obviously increases the damage, but moving or jumping will reduce that stack number. So melees in the tank can basically constantly jump or move and never get stacks, but casters have to watch it. So make sure you move frequently. Uh, next, he'll freeze, which just roots people. Uh, you can dispel it like any normal magic buff. One big thing to watch for is Flash Freeze, which is a long cast time ability that Hodir will use. And when Flash Freeze finishes, anybody that is not safe will be frozen in place and must be broken out like NPCs. So as you can see here, he's casting it. As he does that, there's two large runes that will show up on the ground and a snowball will land on top of those big runes. Once that hits, a snowfall stays up for a while and all the players should run on top of that snow mound. Doing so will prevent you from being frozen by the flash freeze once it finishes. If you go too early, you will get knocked away and take damage. So you have to wait until both snow packs hit before you jump on. Otherwise, there's tiny runes throughout the fight that are similar. Just a snowball will land there after a few seconds, do damage and knock you away, so it's important not to stand in those. And the last big thing is Frozen Blows, which he uses every once in a while. It's a buff that he gains that reduces his physical damage, but he attacks for a hefty amount of frost damage on the tank. And more importantly, he deals heavy raid damage, uh, frost damage every two seconds for quite a while, it's like 20 second duration. So it's important that your healers are really focusing on getting the raid completely healed throughout that phase. Also one quick tip for tanks on this fight, threat is a really big issue, especially against mages. Uh, you may have seen earlier I let our mage die because I wasn't paying attention to the threat meter and I let him get too high. But if you're watching closely, because there's that 10% barrier even if a DPS or in melee range. Once they get above you in threat, you can use your taunt to re-establish their threat level to you, and therefore they won't even pull aggro even if they're above you, just within that 10% threat. So that should help out a bit. Thanks for watching.